Say that question again, please. Is it good to do a spreadsheet also? Would it be helpful to do a spreadsheet? Spreadsheet. Um, yeah, there's two ways to do this. That's a good question. Uh, I was going to explain. So when you're calling, there's one of two ways you can do this. Now, me, I'm old fashioned. Now, you know, we've got, you went through Freight Burgers Academy. There's a spreadsheet called the Carrier Prospecting database or sheet, all this information. For this project, what I suggest that you do is just have, and we ask that you print out a bunch of the carrier profile forms. See, what I'm doing, I'm usually, I have a phone in one hand, I have my paper sheet and I'm scribbling. I'm taking notes, barely legible notes. And then later at the end of the day or once every couple of days, either I am transcribing on Excel spreadsheet, which you can do, or you get one of your people on your team, your child, your spouse, your niece, your nephew, your part-time administrative assistant, whatever, that takes these forms, enters them either in the Excel spreadsheet or your logistics software, your transportation management software that you may later be dispatching trucks with, that you may be later doing invoices with. So this same information going from scribble notes, or some of you may be real comfortable typing. See, I never learned how to type properly. I mean, I do the hunt and peck. It's, it's a little more advanced than hunt and peck. But if you guys are fast at data entry, then you might have a headset on. So you can have both hands available. And if that's the case, I might be typing in answers to my Excel spreadsheet, my carrier prospecting spreadsheet that we have that actually has these some of these same columns. So it'll ask, it has a space for the carrier name, address, phone number, all this stuff. It has space for what kind of trucks there are and how many. So there are a bunch of these spaces that are available in a section for notes. So if I'm one of those people that's good at data entry, then I might get a headset with a mic so I can have both hands free and I can be typing into the computer and that kind of saves you from doing double work. So it kind of depends on what you're comfortable with. Eventually though, this needs to go, whether you're talking on the phone and scribbling on one of your profile forms, it does need to go either into a spreadsheet so you can track, so you can sort and, and find this information later, or you're entering it into your logistics software and your management software. Because thousands of trucks at your disposal only benefits you if you can figure out which of those thousands of trucks is based in a certain area and has the type of trailers that you need and is willing to run the routes that you need them to, to run. And then it might also be helpful if you knew what their minimum rate per mile was and preferred rate per mile. So for all these scribble notes that you're to the answers, your questions you're asking, you put them in an Excel spreadsheet, then when you finally get a shipper that says, okay, I'll give you a shot. You've been calling me every week for the last three months. I happen to have a load in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I had a truck that was supposed to pick it up like 15 minutes ago, and I just found out that they broke it down 100 miles away, and there's no way they're going to be able to pick it up. Now, if you've got a truck, or you could find me a truck pretty quick in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, pick up my load, I'll start doing business with you. Now, here's where having that massive fleet of thousands of trucks at your disposal when you need them comes into play. If after all these hundreds of conversations and people saying, sure, next time you get a good paying load, go ahead and give me a call, send me an email. Yeah, and here's my minimum rate. Yeah, and I know yeah, I'd be willing to do this. And I, we travel this route. We, we go nationwide. We got flatbeds. We got 50 flatbeds. We have 30 dry vans. And you get all that stuff in a spreadsheet. And you get it all in your database. Then you get off the phone. Okay, Joe, give me 15 minutes. Give me 30 minutes. So, you know, just let me let me check what see what I can do. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Then you go into your spreadsheet. You search. Okay, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So you sort by state. Then you sort by city. 
and then you sort by carrier type or trailer type because you know what they're they're hauling. Let's say it's lumber or whatever. So you know lumber is going to be flatbed. Okay, so now I got everything in, in Wisconsin, everything in or near Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I got only flatbeds. So I know these six companies have flatbeds and they're based in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So now out of my 3,000 possible trucks, I have found six companies that are based in an area I need a truck and they have the kind of trailer I need. I'm just going to start calling now. I got six out of my 3,500 trucks I've identified are six companies and that's what I'll do. So I start calling, hey, Joe, you told me to call you next time I had a good pan load in your area. Well, I got one. You got any flatbeds available in or near Oshkosh, Wisconsin? I got something that needs picking up right away. Anything? No? Okay. Next time I get a good pan load, we'll give you a shot. Thanks. Have a great day. Poop. Hey, Mary, you told me the next time I had a good pan load to give you a call. Hey, I've got a great pan load in, in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I need a truck to pick it up now. You got any, any trucks available? Nope. Okay. Uh, hey, Sydney. Uh, I'm just checking to see if you had any any trailers, flatbed trailers available. You told me to call you next time I had a good pan load. Well, I got one in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I need a truck for right now. Do you have any? Oh, you do. Great. -da 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 -da. Well, okay, well, here's the deal. I mean, are they in Oshkosh? Are they available? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, last time we talked, you said your preferred rate was this much, but if you needed a load, you'd go as a little bit of this. Uh, I mean, is that still the case? If I had a, a load paying X, would, would you be willing to take it? I got one available right now. Okay, great. Okay, well, give me a couple minutes. I'll get you the details. Let me go ahead and let my, my shipper know I got a truck so we, we don't give it to somebody else. I'll be back to you in 15 minutes. Boom. And then you get back to your shipper. Now, I know that's a long answer to your question, should I do a spreadsheet? But I, want, <laughs> but I want you to understand why. See, there's reasons why we do what we do. Now, it took me two years to figure out a system and make it all work together. So when I had that opportunity present itself, I knew what to do. I could respond. So if you're not asking these questions, it's on the sheet. If you're not getting that answer to the question, next time I have a good pan load, would you like me to give you a call, send you an email. If you're not finding out what their minimum rate per mile would be, their preferred rate. If you're not talking to enough trucking companies every day, if you're not building up several thousand trucks at your disposal when you need them, then you can't do what I just did. And I did that on many occasions, time after time, because I put the work in up front. There's no special talent. I'm not smarter than anybody else. A lot of people are smarter than me. I'm not any more experienced. I, did, I was not in the freight brokerage business technically for that long. In the scheme of things, there are a lot of other people that were in it for a lot longer than me. But I guarantee you, if you do the right things and you do them consistently, you can have that kind of success. So I'm trying to teach you the found, uh, there's a process. Everything we do from start to finish, there's a reason. So there was a example of how these little things we're doing right now and why we ask these questions and why we make notes of these things and why we put them into a spreadsheet so when you get that opportunity from the shipper you've been calling for months to try and give you a shot on just one load so you're ready to take advantage of it when the opportunity presents itself make sense okay any other questions Makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas.